Welcome to the Tuning In Podcast, where we talk alignment, intuition, and our internal guidance system. We cover woo-woo topics in an approachable and practical way. I'm your host, Dana Evans of Alignful.com. Welcome to another week of the Tuning In Podcast. So this week, oh my gosh, I am recovering from about 10 days of the house being overtaken by, we had painters come to paint our bedroom and the guest room, which I'm also converting into an office. And then we had our carpet replaced, which was Ooh, that took a full, full, full day that we couldn't be home and everything had to be out. So every little knickknack, everything that's on a shelf, furniture mostly had to be moved and our house is kind of up in the air. Hmm. It still is. I'm going to be settling it room by room, but oh, it was tough. It was a tough week. I will just say that. And I'm happy to be on the other side of it. We have gorgeous new carpet. We have beautiful paint. And now I get to kind of resettle the home in a new way with a new vision. And we are only bringing things back into our home that absolutely bring us joy and that I love. Everything else I'm going to sell or donate. So whew, very excited about that. But this week's episode is not at all about the home, but it is about voting with your dollars. And this topic came up, it's the way that I operate, but this topic came up recently when I was talking to someone about how sometimes we can feel really helpless and like we can't really make a big difference. And I think this whole idea of voting with your dollars gives you a lot more power to feel like you can make a difference. So in this episode, I talk about what I mean by the topic, how I do it, and then I share some brands that I love to purchase that I feel like are voting toward the things that I value and how you can do that as well. Without further ado, here's this week's episode. Happy Woo Woo Wednesday! I am so grateful to be with you guys here today. And we are talking voting with our dollars. And yes, our, because every single one of us gets the opportunity to do this. And often we feel helpless, powerless, and defeated when it comes to making change in this world. I don't know if you can relate to that, but I certainly can. And I totally get it. (laughs) There's so many big issues, and if you don't have a lot of time or money to contribute, then you end up wondering if you can actually make a difference at all. And that has really stuck with me for a while. So over the years, I adopted a new way of looking at this. And I, Dana Evans, vow from here on out to vote with my dollars. That's how I look at this. I feel that I can make a small difference with every dollar I spent, even if I can't make a big difference with large donations or large amounts of time dedicated to working on a cause that I care about. So here's how I worked this out. I first sat down and really took stock of what I value and what my husband and I value. What I love and appreciate and want to see more of both in my local neighborhood, my state, and of course the world as a bigger picture. And once I was clear on that, I also realized that some things I don't really care about as much. So I don't have to spend as much time or energy focusing on those and what I vote because this is not a practice that should make you feel overwhelmed or intimidating. Like all of a sudden, everything you value, you have to completely change your spending habits and the way you interact with the world. But it's more about giving you a sense of control on small things and that you can make a difference. And I'm a firm believer that where and how I spend my money has a ripple effect. And it is my way of making a difference and placing my proverbial vote every single day. I am also aware that this conversation is a privilege 
and that I do have certain privileges of being who I am. And because of that, I think it's even more important that I step up and choose to make a difference and vote with my dollars. Right? I know there's plenty of people out there that don't have an option to buy safer skincare or to purchase local meat, okay? I get that, which is why some of the companies I, quote, vote for actually are trying to make a bigger difference beyond the product that they're offering, but in terms of the like legislation and the overall health of everybody and access to healthy food and products always. So again, everything has a ripple effect. And with my position, the fact that I have money and I have an ability to make these choices, I'm going to freaking make these choices. (laughs) I feel so strongly about it, which is why I'm doing a podcast. It's not so much me preaching. It's just, this is how I want to use my my money. I want to use it as a vote every single day. And I get really excited to do that. So think about all the purchases that you make every single day. There's so many, right? Or every week or every month, we have a lot of things that we bring into our home, that we eat, that we consume, that we spend our time and energy on. And then pick a few that you really care about and value and think, do these have a ripple effect? Is my single purchase going to make a difference all the way up the chain? And my argument, which is why we're having this podcast episode, is that yes, it does. It matters. Every time you make a purchase, there is in fact a ripple effect, even if you're not aware of it. So here are some ways that I value and vote with my dollars. So these are just some things that I care about and that I look for when I make purchases. Your list may be completely different. I don't care what your list is, right? It should be something that lights you up and connects to your values and your mission in life and your greater vision for this world, hopefully for the better. But here's some of the things I wanted to share with you so you can understand how I make my purchases. I want to support women-owned companies. I am a woman in business, and I absolutely want to support other women in business. I want to purchase from small, local businesses. I want to purchase from businesses that are started also by minorities. I want to purchase from online entrepreneurs who are trying to start something for themselves. I want to support sustainable and conscious companies. Often they can be found as a labeled B Corp, but there's plenty of companies out there that aren't labeled as that, but they are bringing in sustainable practices all the way through their process of creation and production and distribution. I share abundantly about brands that I love because I feel that word of mouth is one of the most valuable ways that we can help spread the message and support companies that we love. So I know that's helpful in my business. If someone shares this podcast with someone else and they start listening and then they share it and they share it again, there's a ripple effect. Every single person who listens to my podcast, every single individual person who makes a purchase from me makes a huge difference in my life, my livelihood, my business one single person, and that's how things start to grow. I love to interact, share, comment, and like posts from local, small, women-owned, minority businesses. Social media, it actually matters. If you're passively consuming the posts that these small brands are posting and you're not engaging, you're actually not helping them very much. If you share their post, if you comment on it, if you like it, that actually affects the algorithm in these platforms and it will help their post be seen by more people. So I only really follow brands that I really care about and want to support because I don't follow a ton of companies. But those that I do, I make sure to engage with and to share and to let them know how much I value what they're doing. Because again, I know what a difference it makes for me. And I want to 
be the type of consumer that I would want to consume my products, right? It's a ripple effect. It matters so much. And that's the thing. I take it from the perspective of as an individual person who's trying to get a business off the ground, how much a single purchase makes a difference to me. And so I take that purchasing power whenever I make purchases with that same intention of I could go to Starbucks or I could go to the local coffee shop that happens to be owned by women. Either is as easy for me to get to, but I know I'm voting with my dollar, so I'm going to make the conscious choice to go to the local coffee shop. Now, of course, if their coffee sucks, I'm not going to drink it, okay? It also matters that the company is doing things and producing products that I love. That is a thousand percent accurate. But just know that every time you go to make a purchase, you know, you often, if we're here in this place of privilege, you have a choice, okay? And it's fun to know that your choice can make a difference. And it doesn't, you know, you don't have to make the higher choice, right? Every time or higher, lower, I don't know. But you don't have to make the choice. I could go to Starbucks and I do occasionally. It's not about that. It's less about the single things you do occasionally and more about the single things that you do consistently. So I'm consistently overarchingly supporting more of these types of companies that I believe in, but it doesn't mean that I never support the bigger brands. Of course I do. I am a consumer (laughs) in all senses of the word. I shop on Amazon, you know, I go to Costco, but I'm trying to push more of my energy and dollars toward the smaller businesses and the things that I value because I want to see more of that in my realm. That's why. So with that in mind, here are some companies that I love that also kind of fit into this value system. And these are a few of many, and a lot of them are more Denver and Colorado based, but I'll just share those with you so you get an idea of what I'm doing with this. So Reformation and Everlane, these are two really awesome clothing companies that They use sustainable packaging. They're really conscious and concerned about the ethics and where they source their materials and how they produce them. I'm wearing (laughs) Reformation pajamas right now as we speak. I just bought some Everlane yoga pants and they're made from recycled bottles, which is super cool. Tiki is another brand of yoga clothes that makes their yoga pants out of recycled plastic bottles. As you know, I'm a beauty counter consultant. I love beauty counter, not just because of their products. Their products are performance meets safety. So it's not like a granola brand. They are high performing products that make a difference in your skin. So there are chemicals in there. However, They triple test all of the chemicals, all of the ingredients that go in their products, and they test for heavy metal, contamination, all sorts of things. And they have a bigger mission. It's not just about the products, but this woman-owned company has a bigger vision to work with legislation, and they go lobby at D.C., and actually want to change the standards for all skincare and makeup products that we consume so that the person who can't afford to buy the $40 or doesn't want to afford, you know, it's not necessarily about being able to, but doesn't want to spend $40 on face cream, they can go to Walgreens or CVS and pick up the face cream and know it's not going to be affecting their hormones and damaging their skin long term. They know that they're making a safe choice. So Beauty Counter is working at the big level to make this change. Oh my God, I could not love that more. Another company, woman-owned, is called Primally Pure. They're in California. They make really gorgeous, simple, amazing skincare products. I use them all the time. I'm obsessed with them. I love their mission. I love their vision. And I love supporting their brand as well. 
there's so many others, but I'm just listing a few. I always choose small coffee roasters and shops in Denver. I love Sweet Bloom Coffee, best freaking coffee probably in the U.S. I love Corvus Coffee and then Amethyst. And all these places have coffee tasting rooms and they sell beans. So I work there. I hang out there. I know the owners, right? I become a regular there and it's this symbiotic relationship and I just love, love, love it. Oh my gosh, I buy raw food for Mia from a small company and guess what? The meat quality, even for the cat, is high quality so it's pastured chicken, okay? I know that sounds hashtag extra but I want to feed my cat raw meat. I want to feed her food that is good for her and I am willing to spend more money on that and I want her meat quality to be good like my meat quality because of the ripple effect, okay? This company is doing it well, which means as they scale and grow, they're not then supporting the CAFO farms. I don't want to support that ever. So if my cat's eating meat, it has to be a quality that I can get behind. And John and I also purchase solar and wind energy to offset our energy consumption. So John found that and we contribute every month and oh my gosh, you know, that particularly helps when we leave the fireplace on so Mia can lounge by it. (laughs) We feel guilty and so we're paying to offset that energy. We also compost now. There's an amazing company called Compost Colorado. They're also working with the government to try to get composting into more companies around Colorado. In fact, Amethyst, the coffee shop that I go to, actually, that's how I found out about Compost Colorado. They compost everything at their location. And now I can make a difference in that my food scraps aren't just going into the trash. They're going into the compost bin that the company drops off and then they take it to a compost facility and it turns into soil. That is so cool. Of course, we recycle as well. Makes a difference. And pasture provisions. This is the meat company that delivers meat from local Colorado farms. And that company supports sustainable, pastured, free-ranging animals and multiple farms. So they go all around Colorado and get the meat. I get it delivered once a month. I love it. The meat quality is exceptional. And I know I'm making a difference in these farmers' lives by supporting them. And then, of course, well, not of course, (laughs) I get wine from smaller vineyards that are either organic, biodynamic, they're not using pesticides, and they're not like your Rodney Strong or I don't even know. It's just a smaller company, all of these vineyards. There's so many. And if you have trouble drinking wine, you may find that if you get a wine from a vineyard that is not using pesticides and adding sulfates, then you actually won't have as much problem with the wine. Two companies I adore are Dutch Henry and Folded Hills, two amazing vineyards who are doing things really, really well. And of course, local organic food, love farmer's markets and CSAs. Okay, that was a lot, right? But I'm just trying to give you an idea of where my money goes. And you know what? Ultimately, this costs more money. I paid it for the compost, I pay to offset my energy use, right? I pay a premium for this coffee and I certainly pay a premium for the meat. But for me, it is worth it because I care so much. And none of this happened, by the way, all at once. This has been gradual, like over probably, I don't know, eight years, John and I have been slowly shifting toward a more sustainable, conscious, voting with our dollars method. And, you know, even the cleaning products that we use, it's a company called Branch Basics, and they just send you the concentrate, and then you refill your bottles with the concentrate whenever you need to, so you're not constantly buying plastic bottles. And it's a woman-owned company, and it's a safe product that's not going to poison you or your family or your pets, right? little by little we've changed out our products we've shifted like even the sheets that we buy are organic we're trying whenever something new comes up 
to make the conscious choice. It's been a slow process and a mindful one. And, you know, my top value is my health and the health of the environment. I work at home. I spend so much time at home. I want my home to be clean. I cook almost every day of the week. I want my food to be clean. And I'm just so clear that the purchases I make matter and do have a net positive effect. So I choose to give my money to these businesses that I want to see more of all around, right? I pay more money here, right, in these areas, but there are also some things that I don't really care about as much and that John and I don't do, which allocates more money for us to focus toward the things we do value the most. For example, we rarely buy clothing. I work from home. I don't need much. John doesn't really care (laughs) about clothing. So it's not something we're purchasing regularly. And now I found some brands that when we do purchase clothing, you know, it's more sustainable and they last better. I mean, we have very few pieces of clothing overall, but the quality is pretty good. We don't go out to eat more than one time per week, max. And often that one time is like picking up green curry from the local Thai place that costs about $30. So we're not going out to fancy dinners. We don't go out to drink that much either. So that adds up quick, if you've noticed, right? Even just going to like a casual place, it adds up. So We focus that time and money on bringing high quality food into the house and I love cooking so it works out really well. And neither of us drive much so gas and car maintenance is really minimal and the biggest thing, (laughs) we don't have kids, right? So that's not something that we have to factor in and pay into. We have a cat but we don't have kids. So I always am mindful of like, Every person's life situation is going to be different, right? If you have kids, you're probably going to prioritize whatever a kid costs plus college saving and all of that. And that's great. I'm just reminding you that as an individual with whatever income you make, you can choose to focus your spending on a few small things that you value. Just sending your money there, you are voting with your dollars and you have the ripple effect and you make a difference. And just to kind of close this off, I do want to take you through one scenario of an actual ripple effect that you can kind of see so that you can then track it to your own and with whatever it is that you want to vote with, right? So you feel more empowered at the end of the day and not completely hopeless. Like, I can't do anything. I don't make enough money. I don't have any time. I can't make a difference. Wrong. You can make a difference and you are, in fact, choosing to make a difference every day with the purchases that you make. So by becoming conscious of them, you can make a bigger difference by being more consistent and putting your money toward what you truly value. So, Here's the meat delivery service as an example. And this is just an easy one for me because I've learned a lot about meat in the past. So we get our meat from a local farm. It's delivered by this company, Pastured Provisions, and they deliver it to our meat box every month. So I get whatever meat I get there and then I cook with it. It's I don't exactly get to choose. But say, for example, I was delivered a pork tenderloin and If I didn't have the meat delivery service, say I went to a local grocery store, just a chain store, and went to buy pork tenderloin. Well, my factor when buying that may be, what's the cheapest price? So if you have these two pork tenderloins, one was, you know, $1.99 a pound. It's not organic. It's not pastured. You know, it's just cheap, and it's cheap meat, and you can eat the protein. So you have the two. The other one is pastured, supports a local farm. While one is more expensive than the other, there actually is a ripple effect. So the one that is non-organic and non-pastured, basically there's a life cycle. So that pork came from wherever. I don't know where it came from. Maybe Kansas. (laughs) I don't know the farm. But it probably came from a government-subsidized pork factory. I don't even think we can call that a farm. And the poor (laughs) pigs are stuck in crates, right? They are 
popped up on antibiotics often and hormones because they're in such horrible environments that they get sick and they don't get to be an actual pig out in the wild. It's very sad and very horrible. I'm not here to tell you about that so much, but these pigs are then also fed GMO corn, which is then sponsored by Monsanto, which has its hands in the pockets of the government. So you can see, and the people who are running these factories, I mean, oof, they're not having a great livelihood either, let me tell you that. So you can see that by making this one purchase for the cheap pork, right, there is a ripple effect. Now, you might not think about it in the time. You're like, I just need to put meat on the table. That's totally fine. But I just want to explain, like, ultimately, then that one pork purchase means you're voting for, you know, factory farming. You're voting for genetically modified ingredients. You're voting for the corn industry. You're voting for big pharmaceuticals because all the antibiotics and hormones. And you're voting for this kind of government-subsidized factory. Or spend more money on the pork that comes from a local farm. So this farmer has pretty good livelihood. His pigs actually are pigs, which are hilarious sweet animals. And they run around outside, they're eating grubs, and they're eating grass, and they're, you know, playing with the chickens. And this is real. (laughs) And the farmer cares for the pig. The farmer gets paid for his service and he lives a more sustainable lifestyle where he has pigs and chickens and horses and all these animals that create kind of a environment where all the animals and ecosystem really help contribute to the land and the health of the soil. And he gets paid well and the pigs get treated well. And then the small business that started this, they get paid And I get to eat pork that is so delicious with really clean fat and tons of flavor that is actually also serving my body, right? Because my body is eating meat from a pig that was well-raised. So I'm voting for small farms. I'm voting for organic. I'm voting for humane treatment and beyond humane treatment of animals that can live as animals. And I am voting for meat, right? Obviously, I'm, I'm a meat eater, so that factors in. I'm not a vegetarian. But I'm also voting for eating less meat, right? Because I'm not going to spend as much money on meat because it costs more, so I'm going to eat less of it more consciously. Do you see the ripple effect? And isn't that so cool that, like, I can make a difference with one choice, with one purchase. And you can too. You know, it may not be me. It it could be anything, whatever you care about. And being a vegetarian, of course, that's a choice too. And you have a ripple effect with that. It's all wonderful. And I just want you to consider and feel empowered by the idea that you matter and your choices matter. And especially the choices you make consistently every day they matter and you can make a difference. And even if you do nothing else but shift these small things, they may start small with where you send your money, where you consciously consume, you can make ripple effects. You can make a difference. It's like when you drop the rock into the pond, there's the big splash and then it continues to move out. And every time you make that purchase, you have the ripple effect and you're supporting things that you care about. I hope this helps. I just love this topic of conversation because when we're each really conscious about what we care about, it's not about judging anyone else. It's more about saying, I can make a difference. I care. And I'm going to choose to vote with my dollars whenever I can, right? And then we be kind and compassionate to ourselves and one another. But we remember that at the end of the day, voting with your dollars can have a huge, huge impact on your everyday life. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tuning In Podcast. As always, if this would resonate with anyone you know, please share the episode. You can follow along with my journey on Instagram at Dana underscore Evans. 
or find me on my website at alignful.com.